In this video, I'll show you how you can make this cool section on your Elementor website. So when you arrive to this section, you can see this beautiful stagger animation and hovering on these items, you can see the different background image for each of them and also can see the white text color. So without any further ado, let's quickly make this cool section. Alright, so we are going to build this section only by using the free version of Elementor and also a little bit of custom code. So you don't need Elementor Pro or any other custom plugins. Now here, first of all, we need to create a four column structure. So from here, let's choose this and we can see our these four columns. And for this section, first of all, I want to make it to full height. So make it to 100 VH and also make these columns align to the middle. So from here, make it to center and also enable this app option. So in case if you have more than four items, they can go with the second line, okay? Then also from the style, let's give it a background color. Let's go to our first column. And here I also want to set it a fixed height. So make it to 550 pixel and also set a background image for that. So from here, let's select an image. Make the position to the center center and also the size to the cover. Above this image, let's also add some overlay. So from here, let's make this color to fully black. But I also want to make some opacity with that. And also here make some rounded corner. So from here, make the border radius to 10 pixel. Now, initially, I don't want to show this background image. We only want to show this when we hover over on that. So for this, here we need to create an, another inner container. And for this one, we need to set its background color to the exact same color like this. So from here, we need to just copy that background color. And here on this background, we just need to paste it like that. And also set its height to the same of our this container. So make it to 550 pixel. But we still can see some spacing here. So we need to remove the padding for our this container. So make it to zero. Perfect. Now inside this container, here at the top, we want to place our this heading and subheading and at the bottom, we want to place that numbers. So to add our subheadings, here we also need to add another inner container and inside that, let's drag an heading widget. Let's change this text, make it to center and also change this color and also adjust the typography. Then from here, let's just duplicate this and create our this subheading. For this one, I want to reduce its font size. Also reduce the font weight and also remove this line height. Then let's also reduce the spacing between them. So for this heading here at the bottom, we need to make some negative margin. For our this whole container, we also need to make a fixed width. So make it to full width and make it to 250 pixel. Then from here, I again want to copy our this first heading and paste it outside of our this container to here. And I want to make it to this our number. So from here, let's change its color to this one and also make a huge font size and also adjust the other styles. Okay, now here I want to place our this number at the bottom of this container. So go to our this container settings here and make the justify content to the space between. And you can also see this container is not perfectly aligned to the middle. So make the align items also to the center. And at the top and bottom, we also need some padding. Okay, now that looks good. So after that, here I also want to add some dividers between each of these columns. So we can easily do that by using this divider widget. So let's drag it right after this text. And first of all, I want to remove the cap from here and also set a height and also the width one pixel. But I also want to place it on the right side. So make its position to the absolute and make it from the right side and also from the bottom, make it to the 50 pixel. So we have added all of our content. Now I also want to add some entrance animation with them. So first with our this container, 
from our this motion effect option i want to set it to fading up then also with this one let's do the same thing make it to fading up but here i also want to make some animation delay to 50 millisecond and lastly with our this divider let's also add the animation so from the navigator we can see it on here and for this one i want to make it to just fit in our first column is done now from here we can just easily duplicate our this column but before duplicating here i want to first take this for our tablet and mobile devices because if i first duplicate and do our responsive work then we need to do the responsive work again for our duplicated content okay so here with our this column okay not this one basically with this one we want to set its width to 50 percent okay but here it looks too wide so go to the parent container and i want to reduce the width and for this section we also don't need this minimum height so make it to zero we just want to give some padding then lastly go to the mobile device and here we need to reduce the width furthermore 280 pixel and here for our this container here we also don't need this minimum height so from here make it to zero and also make it zero for our this behind container then here for this device i want to show this number at the top of these headings so i want to change its order to the start and let's also reduce the huge font size also reduce the size for this heading so make it to 35 and also adjust the gap here and let's also adjust the padding for our this container then lastly for our this divider i want to place this from the bottom here so make the offset to fully zero and here instead of showing it on the right side i also want to place it at the bottom here okay but before that let's go back again to our this desktop and here now i want to add our this hover effect so go to this container previously we have set a background color from here so we just need to go to this hover section and from here we can make the color to fully transparent now on hovering on that as our this color has become fully transparent so we can see our that behind background image throughout that so now if we see it from our preview we can see that beautiful entrance animation and also that hover effect but here during that entrance fading up animation sometimes this content go outside of this section so to prevent that here we can make these containers overflow to the hidden okay now also another thing we need to fix so on hover we also want to change this text color to white we can do that by using some custom code so first go to this containers and front section and from here we need to add this class mdw image numbers then to add the code snippet we need to add an html widget and drag it to right after this section here and paste this code here you also don't need to worry about this code snippet I will give all the code snippet to my website and also give that code snippet link to my description. From here you just need to copy and paste that code. Okay now we can see that white color on hover that looks perfect but now here at the bottom you can also see some white space so this basically comes from our this additional section so I want to hide this for all of our devices so from here let's enable all of this and then here i also want to make our border look smooth like this so to do this here go to the divider widget settings and here we need to remove that black background color now we can see it looks really better than the default solid color and if you also want to change the color of this divider you can also do that from this separator color option and also from here you can change this over white text color so we have made all of these things and finally i want to just duplicate this but before that here i want to delete our these empty containers and duplicate this one three more times and from here we can easily change our this content so i want to say here app design also change this text this number and this background image from our this container 
Okay, let's quickly change the other content. Okay, now that looks good. But here you can see for our this last item, we don't need this divider. So from here, go to this divider widget and I want to delete this one. Now finally, I also want to add the stagger loading effect. So it looks like the animation goes from the left to the right side. So previously here for our this container, we have said that entrance animation, but here we don't set any delay for that. So for our this second one, here I want to add some animation delay like 50 millisecond for the third one. Let's make it furthermore 100 millisecond. And for the last one, again, increase it by 50 millisecond, 150. So you can see for each of them, we have increased the animation delay by 50 millisecond. And then if we go to our these headings, here we have set the animation delay previously to 50 millisecond. Now for this second one, I want to make it to 100. And also for this one, 150 and 200 millisecond. Okay, now we can see that beautiful entrance animation and also can see different image for each of the items. Also on mobile devices, now we can see these dividers at the bottom of these each sections, which we have also do with our custom code. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.